Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video for this gentleman here, a gentleman called LA Flyer. Now, LA Flyer is one of my Patreons and asked me a question about this. How do you set up a radio like this running HDX for iNav? Now, I have a full iNav series. I'd recommend if you're interested in iNav, that's the place to start. Updated for this year in 2022 and go through every individual step. It includes showing how you set the radio up too, but it's not using HTX. So LA Flyer, this one is for you. So let me just zoom in a little bit, turn the light off so we can see the screen a little bit better and I'll show you each of the individual steps. It's really easy and it's very, very close to what you've probably already seen with OpenTX. Let's face it, HTX and OpenTX, basically the same operating system. HTX is just the newer version with lots of new features. So here we are zoomed into the radio and what we're going to do is going to create a new model from scratch. Now there are loads of different ways that you can do this. I'm going to show you one where we're going to manually add the extra pieces. However, in the latest version of HTX, which is what I've got in here, which is 1.7 point something, I think, uh, there are some wizards that you could also use, but I would recommend doing it this particular way because it means that you then know how to set up additional channels if you really want to. So we're going to press and hold the roller button here on the right hand side and we're going to go and say select model. Then in here we're going to hit the enter key again and we're going to say create model. And then what it's going to do is ask us which template you want to use. If this isn't the screen that you see, then it's probably because you're not using the latest version of HTX. I'd recommend that you update. There are lots of great new features in the latest version. I'm just going to create a blank model. And the reason for that is although you can go through these and um, set up things for soaring or wizard stuff for lots of other things, I'm just going to say blank model. And there we go, model 61. So we're going to uh, hit escape up here on the top left hand corner out of that. And then we're going to hit the model button, MDL in the top right hand corner on the radio. And here are all the settings. Now, if we just zoom across into the inputs, we can see that all it's done is it's given us an AETR order, which is the default in iNav, exactly what we want. If we go into the mixer, then we can see AETR perfect. Now, what we need to do is add a couple of extra things. If we click on channel five, it'll then say edit, we'll click on edit. We can now give it a name. I'd recommend uh, something like arm because that's what this is going to be for. We'll hit enter. We're going to select a source. If we click on source and then we move the switch we're interested in for arming, it'll automatically appear. So we can just click on it and that's that bit done. We're going to hit escape up here on the left hand side. Again, you could navigate this with your fingers. I'm not doing it that way just because it's kind of covering up the screen a lot. Next one then is channel six. We need to add a mode switch. So we're going to click on channel six, click edit. We're going to give it a name. We're going to call it mode just so we can keep track of everything. Actually helps if you type properly, doesn't it? Let's put name at the beginning. There we go. And again, we're going to click on the input and we're going to click the switch that we want on the radio for the modes. And then we're going to do that again, exit, return at the top left hand corner. And the last one I put in for channel seven, I would probably add something like a buzzer. Now the, this very, very handy. I would recommend if you're using iNav, buzzers are handy. Again, click on 6P. I'm going to hold the momentary switch, which is going to hook, fly me down to SH, and we come out of it. And there we hit. That is it all set up. In iNav, we're going to set the default channel order in the receiver tab to AETR, which is what it should be by default anyway. That means as we move all the controls, they will move correctly. Then channel 5, we set up in the modes tab for arming. Channel 6 is going to be for setting the different modes. And then channel seven, you can select for something like buzzer. But that is how I would set it up. The only th other thing that you need to do is when you are in iNav and you're setting it up, you need to make sure that the channel values for channels one, two, three, and four are exactly uh, middle channel values of 1500. In fact, you don't need to bother with the throttle, just A, E, and rudder. And what you need to do for that is while you're looking at the receiver tab in iNav, go in to the outputs tab and then there are things called the trims. Now the trims are the ones that you're interested in. What you need to do is edit the sub trim for that particular channel until on the screen iNav reads it at exactly 1500 and that's where it needs to be. But that is how I would set it up.
So hopefully LA Flyer, that helps you. That is how I would configure it. And that's how you do it in Edge TX. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.